next award is for lifetime achievement for the advancement of education of future energy leaders. Uh, and it's a pleasure to welcome and invite in his personal capacity as a friend of the award winner, Mr. Adam Seymour, to present the next winner. Good evening, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests. It is my pleasure and honor to introduce the recipient of the fifth Abdullah bin Hamid Al Atiyah International Award, presented to my former colleague, Ali Isawi, in the category of Lifetime Achievement for the Advancement of Education for Future Energy Leaders. Before we met, Ali served as energy policy advisor to the Algerian government. And he represented the country on the OPEC Board of Governors. There, Ali caught the eye of the late Robert Mabro, CBE, who persuaded him in the late 1990s to join the Oxford Institute for Energy Studies. At the Institute, where we worked together as colleagues, Ali produced an outstanding study of the hydrocarbon sector of the Algerian political economy. To this day, Ali's book stands alone, in my view, as the comprehensive study of its subject, infused as it was by his first-hand experience gleaned in his time as policy advisor. Later, working for a Saudi-based regional multilateral energy bank as its head of research, Ali developed new approaches to decision-making in the fields of policy, investment, risk assessment, and project finance across the Arab world. In addition to his day job, Ali has always managed to find time to help postgraduate students, guiding them through the painstaking process of researching and writing their dissertations. Finally, it is worth mentioning Ali's tireless involvement in major professional societies. He is a member of the Oxford Energy Policy Club, the Paris Energy Club, and the Arab Energy Club. Now, after a long esteemed career, and rather than taking a well-earned rest, Ali is returning to the Oxford Institute for Energy Studies as a senior visiting research fellow to build on the foundation he laid in the 1990s. It is now my pleasure to invite His Excellency Abdullah bin Hamad Al Atiyah and Ali Isawi to the stage to accept his award. <laughs> Thank you, Adam, for your kind presentation. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I am naturally delighted to accept this award and thank the International Foundation for Energy and Sustainable Development and its founder and chairman, His Excellency Abdullah bin Hamad al Atiyah, for the honor. I would also like to thank the selection committee for their consideration and recognition. In the course of my long career as an energy economist, moving from the policy sphere to research, into research and academia, I have been privileged to work with amazingly inspiring people. The one with the greatest motivating influence was without doubt the late Robert Mabro, my once mentor at the Oxford Institute for Energy Studies. Robert, who gained deep understanding of classical philosophy in, her early, in his early gap years, used to resort to Socratic questioning to promote critical thinking. Hence, his emphasis on the importance of asking good questions as a prerequisite 
for getting at the bottom of any problem. It's this basic tenant or teaching that I have tried in turn to convey. To be sure, my academic focus has been more on research than education. However, my main contribution to the letter feeds stems from my constant and long interaction with many postgraduate students, most of them from the region, who have been attracted to us by our research work. As they embark on the challenging task of completing their dissertation and thesis, we help them begin by figuring out what the relevant question, what the relevant research question might be in a complex and ever-changing world of energy. Indeed, in the same way as asking good question prompt problem solving, developing good research question enable effective argumentation. Finally, I feel it a duty to dedicate this award to the memory of my parents, as well as my, to my wife present here tonight, and my daughter whose unfailing support has enabled me to accomplish what I'm honored for tonight. I'm grateful to all of them. Once again, thank you very much, Your Excellency, for this humbling honor. Thank you.